this case shows that even the guy next door could potentially be a predator targeting your child. When Reagan Beresford thought he was meeting up with an underage kid for sex, he was instead greeted by Cape Coral police. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind you. Get out of the car. Put your sunglasses down. Put your hands behind you. Body camera video shows the Florida sting operation in action on September 1st, 2022, when the 52-year-old is handcuffed and detained. But the story doesn't start there. Two months prior, Beresford's former neighbors called 911, saying he was sending inappropriate messages to their child. I'm pissed because I had a gut feeling and I didn't have enough. That's okay, you did it. now it's in front of me yeah. and I'm mad. I'm running He's loose. meticulous. This is not, I have a feeling this is not his first rodeo. Legendary investigative reporter Chris Hansen has spent years tracking down predators. He co-founded the True Blue streaming network for even more true crime coverage. Hansen tells Law & Crime Network this case is rare because the suspect knew the victim personally. We typically see strangers approaching children online in these various social media platforms. What's unique about this, the guy was a former neighbor. He knew the family, he knew this girl, and yet in some ways it's very similar to the other predator cases because the grooming, he found his target and he kept chipping away and trying to tear down the barriers we have in society between adults and children to you know, fulfill his sexual fantasy of being with his child. It's frightening. Law and Crime Network received hours of body camera footage from the Cape Coral Police Department as part of the investigation into Bearsford's arrest. Much of the video is redacted, meaning it's been blurred or blackened out. When police interviewed the victim's parents in July 2022, only portions of their audio were released. This is not a threat. This is not a promise. This is an instinct. Mm. We're, there's no more contact. That's definitely. Yeah, of course. If this man shows up on this door, I am taking that as a threat to my children. The victim's parents tell officers Bearsford may have been grooming their child, enticing them with money. He was giving obscene gifts and. And he's alluring them with money because they're young adults yeah. wanting it's to like eat. candy. You know? But instead of taking the bait, the child reported Bearsford to their parents. This is a case where the child, it appears, did the right thing because the child reported this inappropriate sexual contact to the parents. And the parents reached out to the police who then conducted their own investigation. And as we see in this very alarming body cam video, uh, went out and, and put together a sting operation and captured this guy before he could try to sexually assault this child. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Put your hands behind you. Get out of the car. Put your sunglasses down. Put your hands behind you. Is there anything on you going to cut me, stick me, or poke me? In the months leading up to Beresford's arrest, the would-be victim's parents agreed to assist in the investigation. I'm going to put in my report that they're interested in working with detectives. Um, I'm talking to this guy because, like, it's gotten to that point where, like, if the child was naive enough to go alone with him somewhere, like, probably something would happen. The Cape Coral PD put some time and thought into this and, uh, you know, created a scenario where an arrest could be made in a safe environment without harming anybody, including the child who is targeted in this case. So it all went uh, to plan and now this guy is going to face justice. Before his arrest, officers messaged Beresford posing as the child. Court documents show Beresford sent messages reading, quote, I know you are extremely hot and sexy. Just thinking of you turns me on. Another text read, quote, I would love to bring you to my home and into my bed. I don't want you to ever get in trouble but I'm so excited and looking forward to seeing and spending time with you. He had a very sexually explicit conversation, was clearly trying to groom this child, and then showed up with condoms at a, a pre-scheduled you know, scheduled location to, to try to consummate this fantasy. And the police from that jurisdiction down in Florida were there to, to arrest him, all captured on body cam. Body camera footage from the day of Bearsford's arrest shows officers finding something of interest inside his vehicle. 
There's a bag on the passenger seat too, like a, something that you went and bought, and then there's a book bag behind the driver's seat. The bag on Beresford's front seat contained a pack of condoms. Investigators say Beresford bought them on the way to meet who he thought was a child. If he didn't get to our kid, I don't want him getting to another. Yeah, so that's Somebody the whole like point. This has been thinking about this longer than just our kid. This case shows that even the guy next door could potentially be a predator targeting your child. I think it's rare. We like to think we know the folks who live in our neighborhoods, but it is possible. And it's another cautionary tale for parents to sit down with their children and have this conversation about who they talk to and what information they provide to people online. Hansen says internet crimes against children are not slowing down and more social media platforms create more opportunities for predators. It's not the kind of crime where you can apply demand reduction. It's more prevalent than ever. And there are more social media platforms now than ever before for adults to approach children. So your best defense is the discussion you have with your children. And you have to tell them that if somebody says something that makes you uncomfortable, that is overly sexualized, you need to come talk to me. You won't be in trouble, but together we will resolve this situation and I'll help to make you safe, protect you. Beresford now faces multiple charges, including traveling to meet a child for sex. Right now, he's out on $35,000 bond, but is due back in court on February 24th. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.